when you are now the father that is taking your daughter to give to another man, it's a very, um, how can I put it, emotionally interesting time and, uh, and a, little bit, uh, a little bit confusing because you're the one who has played that role and you, you have come to love it and you've come to appreciate it because this is a person that you've seen grow and they've grown in your hands and you make sure that they are okay, they are fine. Um, uh, and now to be to take a, and hand over to another man, which you know is the right thing to do. And as much as you are loving the fact that you know your daughter is is getting married, in your mind you're thinking a lot of things. You're thinking, will he take good care of her? Will he love her? Will he slap her? What kind of a man is this? You know, because you really don't know uh, who the person is until they have been together for a little while. The moment when I saw her, I was, I, I was blown, I, I, I was impressed, I was absolutely shocked. I mean, her wedding dress, all those curves, everything just fit her so perfectly. Um, that's the idea of wedding dress, that's, that's what I wanted her to wear, even though I didn't know what, what, what she's going to wear, but that's, that's something that I knew would would suit Vanessa perfectly, and and it did. And I'm and I'm very happy her her wedding dress wasn't you know fluffy and and, and big princessy, because because she's uh, she's something if if I can say she's a modern bride. Let's let's put it that way, you know. Uh, <clears throat> and 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 that wedding dress just just suit her absolutely amazing. I mean she looks stunning the most beautiful bride I've ever seen in my life. I was just gone. I was with, I couldn't believe, again, the memories flooded back, and I was, you know, you're happy, and, and you're so, you, you're so excited. You're like, God, you mean, this, you know, David said, you mean, God, this is your usual way of doing things, of dealing with men, and that's where I was. I'm like, God, is this your usual way of dealing with men? I was that excited that my baby at 25 could get married to a lovely young man and here is the father walking her down the aisle and I just couldn't hold myself. I wept and wept as they walked in and, and I, yeah. I don't think I have smiled more in my life. I could see him standing there and I was so proud of him and the boys and the girls. I was like, oh my God, everything is happening. You know how much he loves me and how he's proud of who I am and who I've become. And you know, he's happy that I'm happy. And I was like, dad, we can't get any, any more emotional because I can't start bursting out into tears. And just like, I know. And he has balancing tears, like almost falling down in space. And, Man, it was so emotional, but I had to constantly tell myself, I'm actually, you cannot cry, you cannot cry, because, you know, I'm seeing my future husband being cute and emotional, I'm seeing my bridesmaids with tissues, my dad is beside me with balancing tears, I take a glance at my mom who's weeping, I'm just like, <laughs> stay focused. So I was like, just grinning the whole time. Bishop Alan Kuna, do you give this your beautiful daughter, Vanessa Wamboyi? to this handsome young man, Robert Kovac, to be his lawfully wedded wife. I was handing her, her over to him. I was looking at those green eyes and I was saying, man, you better take care of this girl. Otherwise, I will come on to you and we will not, it will not be nice between me and you. Uh, because I'm transferring authority, but uh, also you must accept responsibility. Uh, because you see, when, when you get a bride, you have actually taken responsibility. It's not a joy right? it's a responsibility. And uh, we've had conversations with Robert and I've just made him understand. You're making a commitment now. Um, you're walking away from everybody else and you're saying this is the person that I want to be with alone for the rest of my life. The thing is, December 10th, 1994, is when my father-in-law put my, 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 uh, my wife's hand into my hand uh, at All Saints Cathedral. 21 years later, to the day plus one, I do the same thing to my daughter. And it just crossed my mind that in another 20 years, it will be Robert's turn 
to do the same thing. Her dress, I have never seen anything like that. Anywhere in the world with anybody, not even Beyonce. You couldn't touch it. Her dress was beyond. It was an expensive piece, but it was worth every coin. The gown took six months to make and it just hugged her body very well, curved her very well. And then the, the buttons at the back, little, little buttons at the back. And then the, the, the sheer all over, like at the back had sheer, 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 sheer. And on the sides, it had sheer that you would almost think that's the skin. I mean, oh, she looked good. She's a young 25 year old. She has her life. She's not the pastor. So if she wants to look nice and wear that, I support her. And there is nothing, it wasn't showing nothing. There was nothing revealed. It was just a beautiful hugging dress that looked absolutely beautiful. I would wear it if I had that body. Believe me. <laughs> All I kept on thinking, but then I was like, should I wear a dress to please everyone on my wedding day or should I wear something that I have always dreamed of? And I thought, well, I get married once. So rumors be damned, say what you have to say. But I felt happy, I felt beautiful and I felt very comfortable. But one thing I think the world forgets is I am a pastor's daughter. I'm not a pastor. Happy we, we made our parents happy yeah. as well, you know? Yeah.